Hello everyone, I'm contributing with Laura y Pablo and today we are going to show you how to create hair. Let's start by choosing our base color. It must be the darkest tone of the hair you want to create. For example, if you want to make brown hair, you are going to start by choosing a very dark brown tone, correct? Create a new layer and paint with a soft round brush. As it is our base color, it doesn't need to be perfect since you will barely see it. Now make another layer. But this time, choose a clearer tone and reduce the size of your brush, but just a little bit. We are choosing this tone, for instance, then make your brush smaller and draw some lines. You can also reduce the opacity if you want to. I'm going to do it, but only a bit. Next, let's apply a Gaussian blur. After that, add a layer mask and with the gradient tool erase the color from the lower and the upper part as it is being shown in here. Create a new layer and use another tone, clearer than the last one. And do the same, reduce the brush size and draw lines. Now, again, make a new layer and here we are going to draw fine strands of hair with a lighter color. Add a layer mask and repeat all we did before. You can add a Gaussian blur, a soft one, and repeat these steps until you get the brightest color you want. Make your brush smaller and do the smaller and do the same. It's a matter of patience. Layer mask and erase. 
but not too much, only a little. Now, move this layer and add here a new one. The idea is to draw thin hair but with the first dark color you used later on. As we are a few layers below, we can use a soft brush. After doing this, go back to the top and make a new layer. Pick the brightest color with the eyedropper tool and select other even brighter. You can play with colors too, of course. I am going to go up a bit and select one close to red. Change your brush to a hard round one so you will be able to draw the thinnest strands of hair. Oh, I just forgot to say that this layer is going to be blurred using the same as before, Gaussian blur. If you need to fix something, just go to that layer and keep drawing. What you are going to do now is to create a group for these layers and then make a copy of it, just in case we could make a mistake. Working with the copy, let's put all these layers together as a single. Blur it a bit more and now continue doing the same. Ensure yourself to make a new layer for each new color. Then add a layer mask and erase. Layer mask. Layer mask and the same. Now join the layers and let's play the layers and let's play with gradients. Create a clipping mask.
duplicate this layer and put it below the original one and blur it. The next step is optional, okay? Paint softly in overlaid mood. And that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and bye bye for now.